Hi, in this video, I want to show you how to properly iron a shirt. And we can do this quickly and easily using the Singer Steamcraft Plus Iron with On Point Tip. The On Point Tip will revolutionize the way you iron your garments using the tip for ironing around buttons, seams, and pleats for a crisp finish. Let's get started. First, let's fill the reservoir with tap water using the provided accessory cup for convenience or you can also fill the water tank directly under the faucet. It's always a good practice to check the garment label to make sure it's suitable for ironing and follow the recommended fabric settings. There you go, the shirt is suitable for ironing. If you're not sure what the fabric is made of, begin ironing on a low setting. Press the mode button to select your desired temperature. You will know you've selected the correct temperature when the corresponding temperature bars begin blinking to start the heating up process. When the iron is ready to use, the temperature bars will stop blinking and stay on. To turn on steam, rotate the steam knob to the on position. This will generate powerful and consistent steam while ironing. Let's start with the collar first. Lay it flat on the ironing board face up and iron smoothly. Turn the collar over and repeat using a nice smooth back and forth action. Now onto the cuffs. Lay the sleeve on the ironing board and open the cuff. Using gentle pressure and the on-point tip, press the cuff flat. Flip the sleeve over, move yoke and repeat the process on the other end. Using the on-point tip with a little pressure, you can easily iron any details by ironing from the outside in towards the collar and apply steam. Lay the shirt front with the buttons on the ironing board and iron from the bottom seam up towards the collar. Using the on-point tip, Go around each button. Now press the other front side of the shirt. Reposition the shirt so the collar is in the center and the back of the shirt is flat on the board. Start at the bottom of the shirt and iron all the way to the top using long, smooth strokes. If you have any tough wrinkles, you can use the burst of steam button to iron them right out. If multiple bursts of steam is needed, remember to give two to three seconds in between each burst so the sole plate has enough time to heat up between bursts. Always use the steam boost option when ironing forward and release when moving backwards. Lay a sleeve down and iron from cuff to shoulder. Repeat the same process with the other sleeve. And there you have it, a perfectly ironed shirt using the Singer Steamcraft Plus Iron with the on-point tip.